Welcome back, boys and girls. So now that we know of all the seasons, and we actually heard a little story yesterday, today we are going to get into safety in storms. So basically, what do we do when there's a really bad storm? How can we be safe? So let's get into the read aloud and find out what we can do to be safe during storms. Dear 308, have you ever seen a thunderstorm? I got caught in one the other day and it made me realize just how amazing and powerful the weather can be. The thunder boomed and the lightning flashed. It was quite a show. Today, I'm going to tell you about severe weather and how to stay safe during thunderstorms. So severe is just another fancy word for really bad. Okay, you probably know what kind of weather to expect when you look up and see large dark clouds in the sky. So look at this picture right here. These are big, large, dark clouds. What are you expecting to happen when you see these kinds of clouds outside your window? Call it out right now. Yeah, so some kind of storm is coming. These are called storm clouds, and unless you want to get soaked, it's time to get indoors when you see the storms like this moving in. So anytime you see these really dark clouds and it's thundering and lightning, it's raining really hard, you have to get inside. Lightning. During a thunderstorm, you can see lightning. Lightning is a stroke of electricity that connects energy in the ground with energy in the clouds. So basically, it's just like energy that's in the clouds and on the, on the ground. It's traveling. Sometimes you can see a bolt of lightning when it flashes and zigzags in the sky. Lightning is often followed by a loud clap of thunder. If the thunderstorm is far away, then the thun thunder may only sound like a distant rumble. But as the storm nears, the thunder gets louder and louder, and the time between the lightning and the thunder gets shorter and shorter. Thunder cannot hurt you, but lightning can be dangerous. So thunder is what you hear. It's the sound, that booming sound. And lightning is the electricity that comes down. So this little spark over here, this is lightning. A lightning strike knocked down this tree. Lightning can start fires too. Worst of all, lightning can seriously injure or hurt a person. There is a very small chance of being struck by lightning, but it can happen. Fortunately, there are simple ways to be safe during a lightning storm. My teacher thought, taught them to me, and now I'm going to teach them to you. So thunder is the sound, lightning is the electricity that you see the flash of light, and lightning is the dangerous one. So that's the one that could strike and hit a tree or cars, so that's what's dangerous. And that's why you don't want to be outside when it's thundering and there's lightning going on. Oh, whoops, skipped ahead too much. Lightning tends to strike tall things like trees and tall buildings. The smartest thing you could do in a storm is stay inside. If you don't take cover in a building, then a car is also a safe place. In case you ever get stuck outside in a thunderstorm and you cannot get inside, it is important that you remember never to take shelter under or near a tree or tall objects. Even though trees and tree leaves may keep, help keep you dry, you never want to be near a tree if it gets hit by lightning. Instead, you should lie down flat on the ground, far away from trees, and wait for the storm to pass. You get drenched, but you won't get struck by lightning or a falling tree. So drenched means you get soaked, you get really wet. 
Another important rule is to always get out of a pool, lake, river, or ocean immediately during a thunderstorm. Electricity moves through water, so anyone in the water can be hurt by a single lightning strike. It's best to stay safe and stay dry inside during a thunderstorm. So we need to remember two things. Who remembers those two things that you have to do during a thunderstorm? What's the first thing you have to do? That's right, you have to get inside. And what's the second thing? Call it out. Yep, you have to get out of any kind of water. So if you're in a pool, if you're in a lake, if you're in a river or the ocean, get out. And they also gave us a tip. If it is thundering and lightning, there's thunder going on and lightning going on, and you cannot get inside, then stay away from trees. Because the taller something is, the more likely it'll get hit by the lightning. And trees are very tall. So you don't want to be near a tree. Instead, they said you have to lay down flat on your body and just wait far away from trees, okay? Let's continue reading. Hail. When it's cold outside, you might see hail during a storm. During a hailstorm, chunks of ice called hailstones fall from clouds onto the ground. Usually, hailstone stones are small, about the size of peas or smaller. Sometimes, however, hailstones can be the size as big as golf balls or even a baseball. It is always best to stay indoors during a hailstorm. So the, this is what hail looks like. Usually it's really tiny and when, when it hails outside you hear like a little, like that's what it sounds like against the window. Um, and the best tip to stay safe during a hailstorm, again, is to be inside. It is important to know how to stay safe during a storm and other kinds of severe wet weather. If possible, don't go outside at all in any kind of storm. If you do go outside, wear the right kind of gear. So gear means like the type of clothing you're wearing. Like a raincoat, boots, and a hat during a rainstorm. Be smart and be safe so you enjoy the amazing power of nature. It's quite the show. Wow, that was a lot of information we learned. So let's just quickly recap. So storms can be very dangerous. And overall, the best thing we could do is to stay inside, right? So if there's a thunderstorm going on, our best bet is to go inside and stay inside until it's over. We also learned some tips that if we are outside, we have to stay away from trees because trees are the things that usually get hit by the lightning, right? Lightning is right here. It's the light that we see. It passes electricity, and that's the dangerous thing. Thunder is the booming sound that we hear. We also learned about something called hail, and hail is like tiny, almost, it's not rocks, but it's like ice, and that's what falls down. And sometimes it could be super small, and sometimes it could be the size of a baseball. And then finally, we looked at what kinds of clothing you should wear. So make sure you have a jacket of some, some kind, a raincoat. Make sure you have boots, an umbrella, a hat, so you're covered and you're dry from the rain. You don't want to get sick, right? So don't show up in shorts ready to go outside in the rain because that wouldn't be safe. Nice work, everybody. And that is it for the story. See you later.